Hey guys, welcome back to the Six Hearts on Six Acres Garden. I am Bree. I'm so glad you're here with me tonight. We are going to um, go on a treasure hunt in the garden. It is time to get our potatoes dug up. And I have always said that's so much like a treasure hunt for a kid. I have no idea how many potatoes are under there or what I'm going to find. But it is time to start digging them and um, see what we get. This bed was my red potatoes. Now, what's usually recommended is that you don't pull your potatoes until the plants are completely dead. But you can see that mine are dying back. And I'm starting to get a lot of just disease on these leaves that I don't want to spread through the rest of the garden. So I'm going to go ahead and get them out. And I bet I still have a pretty good harvest. What I like to do is just pull all my plants out first. And then after that, I will start digging around in the ground and see what I find. All of these baby potatoes, if I would have had time to um, let them develop, would have turned into bigger potatoes. But... I just, I didn't have the time this year with the disease that's going on. Look at all of those potatoes. And those are just the ones that we can see. They're still way more hiding below the surface of the soil. This is going to be a really good potato harvest. These are some good sized potatoes, a lot of them too. <laughs> yeah, okay, put them all in the basket. Did you dig all these out? Mm hmm Even the tiny ones. <laughs> that one's heavy. I'll let them out when they're in the hole. beds of potatoes and this is just one of the beds this is probably like I don't know I'm gonna have to weigh it I would guess like 30 to 40 pounds of potatoes it is heavy that was a great harvest potatoes are one of the most versatile plants you can grow in your garden um, and they're so easy to grow I'm gonna take you back here and show you what we did when we put them in <music> Since then, all we have done is water those potatoes. That's it. Um, my plan actually was to keep them covered up, but I, I got so busy in the rest of the garden, I didn't even get that done this year. So these potatoes were literally no work at all for a huge harvest. These are my other two beds, and this bed actually doesn't look bad at all. I'm definitely not going to be pooling it yet. And this bed... I haven't decided. I think I am just going to go ahead and pull it up. There's a lot of disease going on in these plants. Not near as green as those. But then I might just leave what's over here on this side because it still looks really nice. So I think I'll just pull the diseased plants up. Let's see what bed number two has in store for us. I have, as you can see at this empty spot, been harvesting these ones a little bit. Um, we have been eating them with our dinners. Several potatoes came up from that plant. Hopefully this bed will be a great harvest for us as well. What a great 
great harvest. I'm going to bring these inside here in a little bit and weigh them and tell you how much I got. I went ahead and cleared that whole bed. So we've cleared two out of our three beds of potatoes and have, I don't know, about probably if they weren't heaping, probably three of my big baskets full. So I, I'm going to call that a success, especially for how little work went into these potatoes. I am hot and dirty and out of breath. Um, but my husband is making dinner tonight, so we're going to keep on work. I have a lot of onions in the garden that have, um, started to fall over. I have a lot that are still growing, but I'm going to go ahead and go through and get the ones that have fallen over. That way I can get them cured along with the potatoes. This is where we are going to start with our onions. If you can even see them there in that patch of weeds everywhere. But when onions are ready to harvest, which dig one out and show it to you their stem will go from standing straight up to laying over on its side all you do is just give these a pool and they come right out of the ground These onions are the ones that I started from seed. Started these, I think, in January. Um, I don't know if I'll do that again. I mean, I, they, they're they decent, but they are nothing like my... Well, that one's pretty good. But it's still nothing like the onions um, that I plant from Dixondale onions. And those are inexpensive. Um, and they don't require so much time. So I will probably just do that from now on. This is what I mean by your onions will lay down when they're ready. Those ones are still standing up and then you get a little bit further and they are all laid down. So every one of these are ready to be pulled. That's a whole big basket full of onions. Let me show you the size difference though. So this is one of the pretty big ones that I started by seed. It's a handful of an onion. But these ones, for example, are ones that I started from the Dixondale onion starts. Look how much bigger that is. It is a different variety that may play a part in it. Um, but I, I think these are candy onions. I couldn't tell you what the ones that I started by seed are now, though I've forgotten. I still have a couple, probably 200 more onions. Um, that either need pulled or are still growing and not ready to be pulled yet But it is getting late and so I am gonna go in for the day or for the night and get a shower. I am filthy uh, That means it was a good day in the garden. I got a lot done today. Um, I picked probably I don't know how many pounds a whole entire basket full of green beans um, off camera. I picked about 10 squash and zucchini off camera and then tonight with you we pulled all of those potatoes and onions. I'm going to weigh those and I will put the weight right here of how many pounds of potatoes we pulled. Um, I know it's a lot. My guess is going to be 60 pounds. We'll see how accurate I am. But thanks so much for hanging out with me in the garden tonight. I hope you continue to do so and that you make it back for each and every video I post. If you like these videos, make sure to like and subscribe. Share them with your friends. Leave me a comment. Go ahead and help me out with this YouTube algorithm as much as you can. Until next time that we're in the garden together, may God bless you.